Neo is talented. He's handsome, he's tall, he's a great cook, he's caring, and he has amazing legs. He has amazing chest, and he has the softest lips I've tasted in the last six years. Neo, I just say you love his body. I love his lips. And I can't wait for him to come out so I can buy him Vaseline and cream it for him. Um, but after having a kid, you know, I, I wanted, I wanted to be a real out Last on this eviction caused quite a lot of stir, and it was sad to see the Queen of Diary Sessions, Euro, leave the Big Brother All Stars house. What's up, everybody? My name is Christy O from Level Up Season, and this is Baby Ninja Exit Interview with Paul. Today, with me, I have in the studio Euro, and she's going to be sharing with me all her experience in the Big Brother's house. Hi, Euro, how are you? I am good. I am just, you know what, it's a bittersweet situation. Um, I felt like obviously I should have been there longer because I was giving content back to back. You were? Yes. You know, and you know what, I'm here today and, you know, it's not my first time being evicted. So, um, you know, you just got to enjoy your life and just keep moving. And that's what I'm doing. During your season, were you evicted like early like this? I was evicted week six. Yeah. So I stayed quite a while, to be honest with you. And it's crazy because I had no confidence back then. So I felt like a lot of people didn't, um, um, re I, don't, I don't even know why I stayed that long. I was like, what was I even doing inside that house? So the way I was tying rapper and all sorts of things, but yes, I, I do remember TV. I was tying rapper and everything, but yeah, I'm an African woman, so it is what it is. I don't know what happened this time around, but um, of course I do, but it is what it is. You do? Mm -hmm. What do you think happened? Um, I just felt like, you know, the whole new format they had, oh, um, okay. the jewelry and everything, I think that's what messed me up because obviously I didn't have the lowest vote, but it is what it is. We move. Cool. Mm -hmm. We'll get to the jewelry later. Okay, cool. So on Sunday, oh no, before Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. You were having a conversation with Cece mm -hmm. on Saturday. Oh, you were yeah. like, do you think I'm going to go? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like I'll go? Why? Mm -hmm. Why were you feeling that way? Um, because I have a very strong spirit and... Um, I think that's what's helped me over the years and I felt something and there were events that happened that confirmed to me that I would be going and it was something that I battled with. Like what? So during lockdown I had these oats I bought from um, a supermarket and I said to myself I'm going to eat these oats because there was a ration of foods right. and I said I'm going to eat these oats on the last day and these oats were kept in my locker and I would see it every day I won't touch it they were just there and I would just walk past it. But on that particular Sunday, mm -hmm. I just went and I picked up the oats and I went into the kitchen, brought out a bowl. I was about to open it and I was like, gosh, what am I doing? And I realized that this is not for me now. This is for the last day I would be in the house. So I think at that moment I knew that I was going and I just had a very, I was, I had a very uneasy spirit throughout. Yes, I did. So the oats was like your informal. Everything, everything that happened. Um, I think Neo said something to me, I think on Saturday, he said something that um, we would see after the show. And I was like, what? What do you mean? That happened. And then, sorry, um, just before we kissed. And then- um, <laughs> They kiss. We did kiss a couple of times. I think you liked um, the kiss a lot. I loved it. Like Ooh. is an understatement. You do it again? Have you seen his lips? No, yeah. I, I've, I've seen it, but I've not really paid attention to it. It's very soft. Ooh. Yeah, it's like, um, you know what they call, so, what was the question again? No, tell me. <laughs> what I they call it? Words. No, nothing. It's okay. It's cool. Okay. So, um, did you have a strategy coming into the All-Stars house? Okay. So, did I have a strategy coming into the All-Stars house? I would say no. But the only thing I said to myself was I was going to live every day like it was my last day in the house. Mm -hmm. And I was going to show my body because I worked hard for it. And I was just going to be me. I was going to be... I think this time around, I was in a very better position in terms of the woman I am today. You know, obviously I'm much older mm -hmm. and I have much confidence. So, you know, that was it. it was, that was my strategy, just to have fun. And people obviously loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Right. So I'm sure coming out of the house, you must have seen several comments or people even telling you to your face that you are the queen of the diary session. Absolutely. And... Um, you know, this wasn't the first time that I've been crowned the queen of the diary sessions. Um, I was crowned that in my previous season and mm -hmm. I was untouched for the next six years. And I got into the house and it was taken up a notch. 
So I think with that, um, um, something beautiful um, has been born. So, you know, we've now, my team and I, we've created um, a platform for me to have a podcast. Okay. So I'm going to use my voice to, to cause a bit of havoc and love. So that's Havoc what I, and love, how does that work together? It's a thin line between both of them. So it definitely works together. The thin line is like very dangerous. Um, so if it's love and havoc, like... Yeah, well, in life, you can never play it safe. You always have to think outside of the box and you always have to cause a little bit of distress in order to find some sort of unity and answer. So like when you when Big Brother calls your name, you roll, report mm. to the diary room. Mm -hmm. And once you sit in that chair, like, what comes to your mind? Um, for I me mean, knowing fully where that, obviously, people are watching. Yeah. Okay? Because, I mean, you were that way your first season, so I can't say, okay, you're doing it for us. Yeah. But what comes through your mind? Um, I, I, do you know what? It, it Comfort. You're very comfortable. Yes. I, comfort is what comes into my mind. Because you know now, like, being in a diary room is just, like, your space. Nobody can hear anything you want to say. You can just speak your mind and speak the truth. And I found mm -hmm. comfort in that diary room. You know, I felt like I was in my yard, like in my in my bedroom. And, you know, I was showing him my boots. I was serenading him. I was talking all sorts of things. And I just felt a level of comfort. So that's why I was able to express myself in the manner that I did. It's good to keep going on. So now let's talk about white money. Okay. So you are white money, you have an argument in the house concerning the use of kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I also remember you saying, white money, they not eat my food. Yes. Why? Um, because it was true. Um, one thing about me is I am, I say what I say and I am not pretentious in any way. I think um, I've been blessed with the, the, the type of um, personality where I, I, sometimes I don't see the need to lie. I'm very straight, you know, and it pains me because I felt like I'm very straight with everybody and I cooked and everybody loved my food. And I felt like part of the reason he did indulge in my food was because, you know, you know, like kitchen is his space. And I felt like he underestimated me. I understand he underestimated my 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 cooking skills. And really? Yes, he did. And when everybody like I cook a vast range of food, I cook Nigerian, I cook continental dishes. Mm -hmm. So when everybody loved my food, I think somehow he felt intimidated. So he just didn't want to eat my food until I called him out. And the minute I called him out, oh, he started eating it. Even one time, I, he didn't even know when he now said to me that and he didn't know when he started eating my food. Before I knew it, I saw up, up, up. you know what they call up, up, up? Mm -mm. Up, up, is bone. He chewed the bone, chewed the biscuit <laughs> bone. To fear the bone for, for plate. Everything, don't scatter for plate. You know when the bone, you chew bone, every, everything is like sand. Mm, mm. He crushed it like aja, sand. Put it for plate. And then I said, oh, you finished? Oh, yeah, 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 I finished. It was very nice. So you didn't even know that. You didn't so you know thought, you cooked the food? I cooked the food. You didn't I, know? I, after I called him out, he started eating my food. Um, so I felt like, um, you know, I think it's very hard to to hide from a person like me because I feel if I feel mm. like I've got an issue with you, I'll say, please, did I do anything to you? I'm sorry if I did. Or what's the issue? That's the kind of person I am. I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't know how to react if somebody. I feel somebody is holding something with me. Like if people, people don't know me, I, just leave it, you will. But I have to understand why we have you an issue. You need to address it. I need to address it, and that's the kind of person I am. So, do you think the kitchen is white money strategy? Um, I would say, I think so. Now, I think he's playing the same game. You know, I feel like, come on, man. You want to come on to All Stars? Come on, do something different. Show us something. I mean, level up. That is a whole um, essence of the whole show. Level up. And I feel like he's using that as a strategy. And if it's working for him, it's working for him. And that is great for him. The whole essence of the show is to, to, to strategize, right? And if it's working for him and people are eating his food, they're going to want to keep him in the house. And that is kudos to him. That is his path and I'm happy for him. We all had strategies, whether some had more or less, but we all went in there with something that we thought would, um, you know, push us to the last day. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. So the jury that you spoke about the other time, let's talk about it now. Brilliant. Let's what do you this. think about the jury system? Oof, what do you think about your decision? Sis, I tell to you. vote you out. I just felt it was really unfair. Mm. I felt like, um, I felt hurt, you know, like I was confused. I felt hurt. Uh, do you know when I got home, uh, when I got to where I was, when I got back, I had nightmares. I've never had nightmares before. You did? Uh, yeah, and it, it was really traumatic. But like I said, um, 
you know, formats are there for a particular reason, which I don't know. And I might not agree with it, but it has already been written into the, the program. But whether I disagree with it or not, it's there mm -hmm. and um, nature has taken its course. So you can't ponder on the negativity. You have to put that aside and make your life better. So many people would have killed for one day in that house. Absolutely. And I spent three amazing weeks and I was able to showcase my personality, my voice, my cooking. And I think that that is an amazing thing, amazing victory for me. Absolutely. Thank you. Like I like that. Thank you. So, um, so you know, um, coming out of the house, mm -hmm. you know for sure you, you've seen the voting. Right, yes. right, and you saw that you had more votes than she. Definitely, she was also saved last week mm -hmm. by the jury. So, uh, so like, what do you think about that? Knowing um, that you had more votes than she. Don't make me drive my car to that house. I enter that house by myself. <laughs> this question, where you they ask me, I will just drive to that house. I don't even know where it is. I will just drive around this whole Lagos and just enter that place. But I will say this, share. Yeah. I will say this, um, man. It's 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 a hard not life, you know. You 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 can't. I, I can't control um, their narrative. I could only control my own narrative. And my own narrative is to make money and buy my Range Rover and have my restaurant pop in and mm -hmm. have my podcast pop in and live in my life. In a few years time, be a mother, get married. And that is my narrative. It has gone. And all you can do is look ahead and see the sunshine. And that's all I want to be embraced in, sunshine. Interesting. Thank but you. do you know the people that were part of the jury? I know them and I, love them <laughs> i love them so much okay mm -hmm. is there anyone you're close to i'm close to all of them and i love them diana you're close to diana we have with diana <laughs> is she a, is, is part of the jury for Sunday? is she big brother diana yes oh. not okay there are two uh -huh. there is diane and there is diana oh i don't think i know her that well Okay. Oh, it's okay. She was wearing blonde hair, okay? Yeah. She she voted me out. I don't know. We didn't see it. I don't know if she, she voted, voted me out, okay? Tell me the truth. I'm very sure she voted for you. I don't know. I can't speak to okay. Diana. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. But it's cool. It's all love. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, you were very vocal in the house about neo energy, mm -hmm. and I think you loved this boy's lips. Um, what is in his lips? I more than loved his lips. I loved his energy. Mm -hmm. Um, neo is. A young man right. he's so much younger than me and i feel like neo has so much to give to the world um, neo is talented he's handsome he's tall he's a great cook he's caring and he has amazing legs he has amazing chest and he has the softest lips i've tasted in the last six years you i just say you love his body i love his lips and i can't wait for him to come out so I can buy him Vaseline and cream it for him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, oh no more. Sorry, but well, let's go. Ha! This is new energy. New energy is an energy to vibe. When did when did the whole attraction start? When I got into the house. The first day, that night. The first day I noticed him, but I just thought I'll just keep it at bay. The first week I had a crush on him, I said it in my I said, there's a guy that I like and he's oh, much younger, younger than me. Guy. Oh. And yeah, not that much younger, but he's younger than me. From from the first day I saw him, I thought he was nice. Yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of glad that, you know, things didn't progress too much because it might have it might have put me in um, a different space. And I'm just glad that it ended with kisses rather than something else. So but maybe God wanted me to come up with the house before Mbaroto <laughs> for national CV. What does that mean? Don't worry. Oh wow. Well. Translates. Be cool. Mm? So like you said, you're happy you didn't like progress further. What if you did? The what? You said you're happy you didn't progress further. What if you did? It wouldn't know. That's why I said, I think Chineke took me out of the house. I think God took me out of the house. What if he was very intentional, he pushed forward and, you know, it was just all up in your face, doing sweet stuff to you, kissing you all the time? If it's a kiss, fine, but I, I would draw the line with him getting into my bed or anything like that. But I feel like kisses, was it was fine. Uh, I love the kisses. I love dancing with him. I love, Neo is like, he's an energy and he's amazing. He's an amazing young man. <sighs> Don't, don't go, I don't like that, you're a woman. The kid, what are you going for? 
Purell. Sha- I don't know. Uh, hey, go. Die your, your lashes. I'll pull it off. Okay. <laughs> Leave me right now for Let's me. not do that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So right now we're going about to cross into the fan zone and see what the fans are saying and okay. what they want to ask you. To. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to read a couple of stuff from Instagram, Facebook, and the likes. Mm-hmm. So this person, Ivy Atuma from mm-hmm. Facebook, says. Tell her that greatness awaits her. She's a star and I love her so much. Absolutely. And you know what? Um, I feel that I feel that in my bones. Um, I'm very sensitive. I have a I have a very um, I'm spiritually inclined mm-hmm. and I feel like everything happens for a reason. And I feel like if it was my time to leave, even though I didn't have the lowest vote, it was my time to leave. So I really believe that for six years I've hustled and I've been relevant since 2017. And I've worked with brands up until the day I moment I left into the house so already I feel like you know the sky's the limit and I will never ever feel otherwise absolutely thank you okay Pamela Mizimela from Facebook is asking does she have a secret relationship with Pere the love language was too much inside the house there seemed to be too much chemistry oh wow I saw you on Pere's video kissing though Thank you. Yes. Like kissing a lot. Yes. So we, not that I like kissing a lot. Um, I actually shot a video, a professional video, which okay. I was paid and contracted for um, mm-hmm. as an actress. Um, so we had a role where we had to pay, play um, husband and wife uh, or lovers. So I kissed him in that video. I was paid and it was a job. Um, but apart from that particular situation, we mm-hmm. haven't had any kisses or anything. And to be honest with you, I've been single for years, to be honest with you. So. I think um, the reason I pushed for the whole Neo thing was because I've been single for a year and I just wanted that sort of companionship, that sort of manly touch. And I think that's why I pushed for Neo. That's why I made advances. I made the first move. Um, mm-hmm. But as for Pereira, um, we've actually joked about, you know, if we're not married or we, we're not, um, we don't have kids in the next few years, we shall have kids together. And I think it's not a bad idea to have kids with him. He's handsome, he's tall. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually get along with him. Maybe some people might look at him in a certain type of way, but I think he would make an absolute good provider. And um, he's he's a man, he's an alpha man, and I love that. So there's no chemistry whatsoever? There's absolutely chemistry with us because uh, he's he's an alpha man and we're friends. There's always gonna be chemistry, but uh, have we taken it to that level? No, no. Okay. At... It's Dems from Instagram commented. Yeah. Please tell her that we're rooting for Neo and a sheep outside the house, please. Absolutely, so am I. I want to sell that ship so far. Wait, I'm, I'm a little confused. Yeah. A few minutes ago, you said you don't want to like, you know, you want to draw the line, okay? Yeah. But coming outside the house, like a sheep means that there's a relationship. That means you're not drawing the line. Okay, so I wanted to draw the line within the house because okay. I wouldn't want the whole world seeing me um, do crazy stuff that mm-hmm. I feel, you know, being a woman and being a woman of substance should be kept in private. So if he comes out and there is a situation, I feel like, girl, like, what well, you know, everybody probably knows that I do have a wild streak. Why not do that in private with somebody that you care about? So if he came out and we shipped, I will sell so far. So like you're looking forward to like a sheep outside the house with Neil? If it happens, it happens. Absolutely. Um, I'm happy that I didn't do anything crazy in the house. Mm -hmm. Um, But if there's a vibe outside of the house, I would definitely sell that ship so far and so wide. And I will sell through the storms. I feel I feel like he is. He actually doesn't. Are you blushing? I'm not. I'm giving you some lines that you probably (laughs) would. Um (laughs) Um, so I, I definitely would, but you know, you don't know, he could come out and I could be like, nah, and he could be like, nah. So you just never know. But in everything you do, you just keep an open mind. Mm-hmm. You never know what could happen. And age is nothing but a number. I, I feel like I'm older than him, but I feel like if you as a woman decide to be with a man, no matter the man's age or no matter the man's what he does, as long as you've committed to him, you should be able to respect him despite whatever he earns, his age, and take him as a man because you've made that decision to be with him. So I would not disrespect a man because of his age or whatever he earns or anything like that because I want to be with him. So like if people are talking, comment, oh, she's older than him. You're not going to care about that. Absolutely not. The younger, the better, I think. (laughs) 
<laughs> okay, so Savage Beauty from Twitter wants to know, when is she launching a restaurant? Okay, so my restaurant, um, I'm going to be launching my podcast before I do my restaurant, which is actually in the immediate future. So my restaurant is coming up. Um, I think in the next few weeks, we're going to push that. Um, so I want to take things one at a time and right. do things slowly and, um, you know, just make sure each and everything works. I have my space already. Everything is done up, but I want to make sure I do it right because it's very important. Right. Um, but as far as my, my um, podcast, my cooking online, I'm going to upgrade that. I'm going to do it professionally. I have a kitchen studio that I cre I'm about to create in my house, mm -hmm. um, my my first house. So I'm about to do that and just continue with my cooking and just teaching people that being healthy doesn't mean it's just only um, vegetables. You can cook healthy and enjoy your meal and still, you know, just have tasty food. So, so, so much. you mentioned something in the house. Yes, please. You said you don't cook with salt. What I, do you cook with? I cook with seasoned cube. I have not cooked with salt in eight to ten years i don't think i don't i don't know i i don't know what it feels like to cook with salt i don't i don't even have sugar mm, i don't i don't and do you know why i had to do that because my mom my mom um because of her she you knows she's died but she died but she has a lot of health issues so i had to learn to cook and create flavor without using certain things so oh. that's that's what i did so it, it took me a while to to master the craft but my food is still amazing amazing taste Maybe you cook for me soon. I definitely would, yeah. Because I don't know what it feels like to eat without salt. It feels amazing. You know one person I would love to cook for? I'd love to cook for Don Jazzy as well, because I know he's a foodie. So I definitely want to cook for Don Jazzy as well. You know, and then feed him some, you know, some soft chicken and just watch him chew on it. Are we still talking about food? I'm sorry. What are we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, CC from Twitter wants to know this. Not really a question. But I just want her to know that she's loved. I know she was worried, but we love her. That is amazing. And that is so reassuring. I was worried. I had nightmares. I woke up in the middle of a night school and I swear down. But I'm over that. Uh, it was a shock. It was a shock to my soul. Um, oh. So we move, you know. I, I, I only gravitate towards the light. And that is the whole meaning behind my name Yurel, which means angel of light so i follow through on that trail mm, Yurel, you have so much love in you and i, love I do and yeah I because do. let me tell you something right when i was evicted okay i felt horrible okay i was very sad yeah. so you say you have like nightmares i can understand yeah i can relate to you Thank and you, you know coming up now with like positive energy that is amazing. Thank you. And it's very good to know. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. That's cool. Sis, I, I'm telling you, like, you totally understand, you know, where I'm coming from. So, I do. Um, I love, I have to give you um, the respect because you're doing such an amazing job. You look beautiful. And I feel Thank like you. you're the perfect example of, you know, turning your lemons to lemonade. You know, you don't let life beat you down. You don't let life um, hold you at a standstill. You keep moving. And that is what you are doing you're a woman of substance and i'd have to say kudos to you thank you so you're much. welcome to keep going up so the outpour of love has been amazing but unfortunately that's all we can take on the front zone so we'll proceed to our questions okay now let's talk about princess okay. so princess put out should I call it a tweet? Something like a comment. I saw on it. You saw it. Remind me again. What did she say? Okay. Please. I will. Very interested in this. So she said, I was ready to open the doors of my mansion to new evictees. I have prepared orgs and one bath, but not today. Exclamation mark. Backbiters can go to hell. After spending 40 minutes of your diary session talking about a majesty in court with a crown wow um what i would say to this is um it must have taken so long for her to come up with this the mansion the warm bath one thing about me is you know i always say a table has always been prepared before me and that table has not been prepared by man it's been prepared by chineke so whatever mansion she has that is on her I live a very comfortable, amazing life. And 
you know, to, to even think of running into somebody's arms after coming out of the house is, is absolutely beyond me. And Princess would be the last person I would want to have a warm bath prepared, you know, by. And um, I spent 40 minutes talking about, um, not about her, but about the whole situation that involved her because I think I was hurt by her behavior, especially telling me that she had a boyfriend that really loved her. But if you had a boyfriend that really loved you, why would you put your leg on top of a guy? Why would you flirt and behave in that sort of manner? For me, I just felt like, you know what, you need to check yourself before you check other people. And um, I wish her the best. I think she's an amazing, beautiful entrepreneur and I wish her the best of luck in her beautiful mansion, okay? And yeah, I will send her a postcard from mine too. Hmm. So you spoke a lot about princess in your diary one. Yeah, I did. You did had I? an issue with her accent. Oh, did I? Um, yes. Uh, accent in the America, okay. Why? But Sorry? she chose to speak that way. Why do you have an? Why didn't you just Which say? Which accent to her? is it? In the America, in the or um, London? She, how many does she have? Which one are you talking about? I don't know. You just said accent, <laughs> so I don't know. Which one? Is it in the America or is it in the or uh, London? One. She has so many. Okay, in the um, Ukraine, which one? Okay, maybe in the America. In the America. Okay, so on the serious note, I had no issues with her accent. I was shocked when she opened her mouth the first day. Eh? Actually, was <laughs> <laughs> You're well. I'm sorry. Please translate for us. I was shocked on the yeah. first day she opened her mouth because Maka, onion furu in front of me. The accent, no, with my ear. <laughs> was not what I had six years ago. <laughs> so, when I heard, when I heard the accent for the first time, Obim mm -hmm. Bawara, my heart broke. But if anybody, I feel like six years is a long time to grow yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you choose to carry yourself in a way where each or he acted like Nde Obudoyibo in the America, why not? You know, why not? Do you grow that accent, nourish that accent, use that accent as an anchor? And that's exactly what she's doing. I have no issues against her, to be serious. I have no issues against her accent. I think she's a beautiful woman. And uh, I'm actually quite disrespected because she called me a, back, uh, a backbiter. Um, I'm not a backbiter. I've never, um, everything I've said about Princess, I said to her face. We had, on the last day, I apologized to her and I said to her, really sorry about the whole situation. I think you guys watched that. We had a long chat and we hugged. So it's quite um, interesting that somebody that I apologized to and took out fish bone from my head, because she was frying fish in the kitchen, which absolutely made my clothes smell of fish. Um, she was frying fish in the kitchen and I apologized to her, took out the bone from my hair and she hugged me. So if you're going to call me a backbiter after you've accepted the apology and we made up and you come to tweet and call me a backbiter, I think you need to take a long look in the mirror and analyze your total being. That's what I think. So I also remember there was a time you mentioned in your diary room, diary session, that she was giving you bombastic side eye. Definitely. She did? Of course. Did you walk up to her to tell her that she was doing that? I told her, yes. I told her that, you know, I keep catching you looking at me and I knew it was because of Nia. But the issue I had was she told me you had a boyfriend. Nia told me he was single. And obviously she knew the guy. Like, Nia always gravitated towards me. Like, he would look at me. He would always hug me. You're rare. You're such a sweet person. All that kind of stuff. And it was just there, you know. And um, I feel a lot of people felt uneasy because of that. A lot of people felt intimidated because of that. And, you know, I was just playing with them because if I really wanted to make a move, I would have. You know, I'm a mature woman. I'm confident in my skin. And I just thought, this is a umaka thing. You know, it's a small child thing. So let me just leave it. When we get out of the house, then we'll know what's up. So you think she likes Neil? I don't know what who she likes, but I know what I want. And that's Neil. I would always get what I want, whatever it is. Hmm. Wahala. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of the guys in the house were of the opinion that the girls did not clean up properly yeah. and you were also of that opinion. Yeah. Can you tell us more? Like, um, I felt like um, it was actually quite disappointing mm -hmm. um, because, you know, 
sometimes I could be on my woman's cycle and you would never know living in my like you would you wouldn't know especially in the house I've been on that on my cycle um, in the house you would never know and I just felt like a lot of things were left in sinks on the floor dustbins were open things were popping out of the dustbin it was just very unhygienic especially where we all had to live in that communal space it was very very not nice but you know at the same time we all come from different backgrounds and you know sometimes we'd have tasks and you have like literally like five minutes to get ready and you know things happen you know so you can't really you can get angry but you can't blame anybody because things happen with human beings so it was hard you know especially with the plates people not washing their plates there was a time the sink was blocked i grew up with boys right so i know how to unblock things i had to unblock the sink myself there were guys standing around i did everything i unblocked the the pipe took out the thing tightened it like i i i, I can do plumbing and they were just looking at me like, wow, this is, I think that's when you was like, well, man, you're an MVP. Unblock the sink. And I just feel like some people just didn't care. Like they'll throw, like it is what it is, you know? Did you like see anyone do that? Of course, we see it all the time, but they will still deny it. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. They never come back. That's how the plates will be there till tomorrow morning. Then Soma or Cross, or Cross will now wash the plates. So, so you spoke was, to them about it, but. Well, yes, nothing. I was put in charge of the kitchen the last week. Myself uh, and Ford, Ford ran away. It was too much for him. It is one problem. And Cross and I just ended up having to um, do the kitchen, you know. So it is what it is. Okay. So you mentioned earlier, you know, everybody has a strategy going to Big Brother's house, mm -hmm. this and that. Yeah. So your fellow housemates, what do you think of their strategy? Are there some that are like very, very obvious, like, okay, you would know this is your strategy? Um, I would say I'm not, uh, I, I'm not really um, sure if everybody had a strategy, but I would say that um, I don't know their strategies, but I know we all have strategies, but I, I don't know their strategies. But I would say that, you know, people like Kidwire, they really are using their time wisely. They're, mm -hmm. you know, making sure that their characters are defined with however they're acting. Um, Venita also, she's a strong woman. I love that about her um and um cc she's amazing strong woman so i feel like everybody has their strategy but i don't know what it is maybe it's their personalities what they're doing i don't know how about lebai lebai um no i mean i think maybe she came into the house as she was before like with the whole fighting and the aggression but i feel like the mm -hmm. strike kind of calmed her down so now i feel like um baye is going to be an amazing superstar whether she wins or not I think I saw qualities in her which I feel will take her so far. And I feel the strike calmed her down and calmed her spirit. And we saw the true buyer and she's doing so well. She's found herself and she's living in her element. Do you think she was bullied for a second week? I don't know. I don't I don't think she was. A buyer, I don't think you could believe by it. No, she does what she wants. So no. Okay, cool. Maybe people are a bit harsh on her, but you know, she's a, she's a strong girl. Right. Mm. So who is your least favourite housemate? Mm, I don't have a least favourite housemate. Um, I really don't. Um, uh, I don't think I waste that energy to say this person is my least. I think that would take too much energy for me to segregate somebody and say they're my least. But I just feel like everybody is just there and it is what it is. Okay. So are you proud of your journey? Um, and how you played your game? Are you proud of that? I would say I am beyond proud of myself. I'm proud that I didn't disgrace myself. I'm proud that I've come out and the love is on a different level. And I'm proud that I was able to showcase my talent. And I'm proud that um, now, like so many different things with my podcast and everything that's about to come out, it's opened up the door to something beyond my imagination. So I am proud of myself and I feel like every, thing happens for a reason and the three weeks was three weeks of absolute divine blessing and I would forever be thankful for the platform. Great. Thank you. Cool. So now that the game is over for you, who are yes. you rooting for? So correction, the game is never Not over like for Big me. Brother's game. No, the game never. would never be over for you. Um who am I rooting for? Um I'm rooting for everybody, but I, I would say CC by Girl power. You want a lady to win. She's by um, Soma, but I just want Soma to 
toughen up a bit, man. I don't like seeing him cry. You know, Do you before think I left. Strategy? No, before I left, I was like touching his chest, and I was like, pretty, I said a little prayer for him, and I said to him, I just knew I was going. I said to him, "You're going to last longer than me," and he was just like, "I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay." And I said to him, "Just calm down. You're going to go really far," um, but I just want him to toughen up because he has so much to offer. So is so talented, but he needs to calm down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're rooting for Cece and Bye. Bye and Soma. Okay, so what next for you, Will? What is next for me? The Queen of the Diary Room. Of course, my podcast, which is going to be the Queen of the Diary Room. Um, and oh, okay. um, yeah, it's going to be live music, fun, laughter, comedy. Cooking. Um, I, I know I'm going to no do cooking? music. It's like a late night thing. So it's going to be me. Um, I put, you know, whatever. I can't give everything out. And of course, um, launching my healthy restaurant, um, which is located in Lucky Phase One. Um, pushing my hair business. Um, what else is there? Um, doing more fitness videos. Working with amazing brands. I'm just, you know, I pray to God that in the next few years I do settle down and have children because that is what I want to do in the next few years, in the next one year to come. Find myself a good man. You know, preferably somebody, and um, have fun. Live Preferably life. somebody. 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 Sounds good. Somebody, find me somebody we day. know. You never know. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next week with our next FT from the Big Brother All Stars House. Till then, bye. <laughs>